video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can recolor a custom shape using adjustments. And I've got this design here that's already back just to show you modifying shapes and obviously affecting the image behind. So I'm just going to select the custom shape tool. Uh, it's going to be a shape and fill blue and using one of these arrow designs. But you can use, of course, any other custom shape. You can find there's a whole range of custom shapes that come with Photoshop. So let's quickly add that design. So say you want it to be a different color, just quickly go to a layer and adjustments and your new adjustment layer and hue and saturation, click OK. Now, when you actually modify that, you can see you can turn it green, you can turn it blue, or go there. Also change the lightness, but what happens also, it affects the background, which is not particularly what you know, you normally would want. The way around that is, and I'm just going to quickly go undo that, is go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart objects. So once you've actually done that, now what you can do, you just go to image, it's different this time, image and adjustments and hue and saturation, and you can modify it. And you see it doesn't affect all of the design there. It's actually just stays the same and you can modify the color there. Click OK. Now, of course, to move that around. Also, it's just, you can duplicate, still a vector design as well. It's still basically underlying custom shapes. You can so just duplicate that. And you can, of course, go that one and you can modify them independently. So if you want, say, a different color for that one, just go down there, double click on that, bring that up. And for that one, so you go for green. And again, the key thing, it doesn't affect anything else in the line. So it doesn't make that dark, doesn't make it light. Click OK. Click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.